Dear friends, this Shabbat we will be reading the portion of Nassau. And in Nassau, which is the longest Torah portion that we read during the year, the end of it is talking about the gifts that the Nisim, the leaders of each tribe, so there were 12 tribes, and the leader of each tribe brought on behalf of the tribe on the day that the temple in the desert, which was called the Mishkan, the tabernacle was inaugurated, they each brought a set of sacrifices. And we find something fascinating, that first they brought a gift together. They brought six wagons and 12 cattle to pull the wagons. And these six wagons were for when the temple was being moved from one place to another while they were on their journeys in the desert, they would be able to pack up all of the tabernacle which came apart. They were able to pack it up in the six wagons and some of the things they carried on their shoulders and everything fit perfectly exactly the way it was. And then for 12 consecutive days another tribe brought the set of sacrifices. Fascinating that they all brought exactly the same gifts and sacrifices on their day but everyone had their own day. Now if they already brought a general gift together, why the need for a specific individual gift, why in a separate day, and really this is where the Torah is guiding us about the Jewish way and how we look at ourselves as individuals and as a collective unit. Because in many areas we look about the Jewish people as the people, the Jewish people. You need to pray with a minion. We talk about the Jews left as a body of a certain amount of people. So we talk about the people, the Jewish people, the collective. On the other hand, Every Jew is obligated to do the commandments. We can't rely on others to do it for us. We have to do it ourselves. There's individual. So what is more important? How do they fit together? Do you need both? Could you be collective without having the individual? Could you be individual without being part of the collective? And the answer is no. You need to have both. And the, the leader showed us, yes, first they brought a gift as a collective. They recognized that they are part of a bigger unit. They are part of a bigger being a people, a people that are connected to Hashem as a people. But afterwards, they realize they have to now create their own individual connection. I have to give my own uh, sense of a gift and be grateful to God for what He had given us, the gift He had given us of the tabernacle, His presence in the desert amongst the Jews. And so too it is in our life. It's so important that we have to weigh both of these things and give them equal importance. Very important to be part of a collective. Be counted as part of a group. Be there and pray with a minion, whether it's Shabbos, whether it's every day, holidays. Pray with a minion. Do things together as a learn Torah in a class with other people. Besides the fact that you learn more and the prayer is more powerful, you feel it yourself, but there's also the fact that we're a collective, we're a group that's doing it, and we are part of a collective, and that's what gives us extra strength and brings extra blessing. But at the same time, we all have individual responsibility. We all have to step out into our own skin. We have to be able to serve God through our own talents and abilities that each one of us is unique. And sometimes when we both do the exact same thing, we both keep Shabbat, we both pray, we both study Torah, we both wear the same tefillin, we both light the same candles. But the way you and I do it is very different because my action is built on my emotions, my feelings, my intellect, and everything that's going on inside of me. And all that comes together and, and, and translates into my action. So let's make that extra effort to make sure we do things individually, but as well always are doing things collectively. And with this together, we are a complete person and we'll be most successful as we can be. So may God bless us all as we have the Birchat Kohanim, the blessing of the priests in this parsha. May we all be blessed with all the greatest blessing God can bestow upon us because God loves us all and we love you and wish you a Shabbat Shalom. Candlelighting time in Montreal this week is 8.26 p.m.